Scientists at UAB and Southern Research Institute discover how a protein in the flu virus that helps it multiply also causes fluid to build up in the lungs. There is a key protein inside our lungs that helps fluid to be reabsorbed when it enters the air spaces where it shouldn't be. So what we found that a protein in the flu virus, which is called the M2 protein, which is absolutely essential for the virus to multiply, also damages a protein that is located in our air spaces. When the M2 protein enters cells, it creates oxidants or free radicals. So free radicals are very important because that's how we kill a number of pathogens that enter into the lungs. However, an excess amount, too much of free radicals can be a bad thing because not only they will destroy the pathogens that come into the lung, but they will also destroy cells that are innocent bystanders, if you will. So M2, when it enters the cells, increases the amount of free radicals. In most cases of influenza, treatment outcomes are good, but researchers believe the swine flu or the H1N1 strain may prove more difficult to treat. With the rise of the H1N1 pandemic strain, that strain seems to be a little bit more communicable. We're still unsure about the mortality. And because of that, we're very, very worried about the next flu season. Scientists hope to gather a better understanding for the interaction between the flu protein and the proteins in our lungs, figure out new compounds that can prevent this interaction, and keep the lungs balanced. This is a very exciting ex discovery because it is a, uh, up until now, it's a new function for an old flu protein. And because of that, it opens up new avenues of not just fighting the virus itself, but fighting what your body does to fight the virus.